going to talk about some fun with the kids, not at Disney, but in the backyard. In the backyard. With potting. Exactly. Right? Well, I did a project a couple of years ago, and I wanted to recreate it because it got a lot of really great feedback. And I know my kids absolutely loved it. And that was taking a really simple, inexpensive $40 IKEA kids table. Okay. So you can get it in their, their kids section. And I painted it with exterior paint. But you'll notice I cut some holes out of the top. And oh, it, you can just drop yes. in the little pots, and then it becomes their little potting table. And I have to tell you, they doted over this table. They went in the backyard. They would play with the dirt. They'd make mud pies, too. Of course. Hey, it's part of being a kid. Mm -hmm. But they really, I, and my oldest especially, I really saw him starting to nurture the planting nice. process. And they would get really excited when beans would start to sprout as well. And there's enough room on either side that they can sit down and have lunch. And that becomes their centerpiece. So it was really sweet That's to cute. watch them. Really easy to do for to cut the holes. All you need to do is get a drill bit that yeah. basically cuts pot lights out of the ceiling. So it's a three inch span and I'm using eight centimeter pots and they fit in perfectly just to drop in there. So that was a really, really easy. I just recreated this on the weekend, couple hours in the backyard. Good stuff. Really, Leanne. really easy to do. So because they, my, my kitties got so excited about potting and planting, I yeah. wanted to think of a few other ideas. So this is a really cute one, a fun one. It looks like an ordinary pot, but, but I made personalized chia pets <laughs> of my little kitties. Oh, I couldn't see the so I've got one of Everett did and you one make them, of you Nolan. Made them look up like that? I did. Oh, so we did a little adorable. there we go. We did a little photo shoot and yes. they had no idea what it was for. And I said, look up, pretend there's something in the sky. <laughs> and then Nolan, of course, also did some funny faces. <laughs> what I found is doing on a five by seven sheet was the perfect size for a lot of the standard six inch high yes. um, high pots. Which did you get these at IKEA as well? Uh, these ones I actually bought from you know my favorite place. Dollarama, the Dollarama. The Dollar store. I got them from Love Dollarama. It. I let the kids paint them and then once I cut out their picture I just used some permanent spray adhesive on the back and stuck them on and then you can shellac over them just to keep nice. them waterproof in case there's any little drips as they're planting but it's kind of fun because now Nolan he's like well can I give it a haircut <laughs> and I said you sure can take some scissors to it so he was having they they really got a kick but again they have it in their room and they're gonna nurture and kind of enjoy that and that's planting the whole experience. point you know Frankie's always talking about that his kids get involved in the garden exactly. and they get dirty but they, they're also taking ownership over that that's plant. exactly you sometimes and responsibility, have to let the right? dirt roll just Absolutely. let it go you really do good stuff now this is another really sweet one because we've talked before about getting our kids to eat like yeah, plant-based foods right. and it's difficult so I created a little caterpillar herb garden oh, that can sit in a windowsill and because it's kind of cute and quirky um, they were really they're really attracted to it but then I say to them again go and give the caterpillar a haircut and they right. can snip off some different herbs um, I've painted the pots you could let your kids paint them up and then I found this which is kind of an, a neat product oh, at the dollar store these. again it's um, flexible twist ties that has a nice coating on them you can just snip them with scissors and I bent them to be the little caterpillar Legs. That's so cool. So really simple and cute. Really that is easy very to do. Smart. Again, dollar store pots. Love what can that. I say? Okay, and then oh, finally why not use their precious little boots. They're leftover rain boots. My my boys go through shoes and like boots crazy. like crazy. They're growing out of them so fast. And they're in really good shape, especially rain boots. They don't get worn a ton. So why not? use them as a cute little whimsical touch at the front door so when they're coming home from school they can see their cute. rain boots they can go and water them yeah. the only thing with this is that you want to drill or nail a couple of holes in the bottom just for drainage for you don't sure. want the water really sitting in there and uh, and rotting out your plants but really easy and really sweet so use their leftover boots or, sh or shoes or I've even seen this done with Crocs Yes, yeah. I have seen Which it done the cross, and then it becomes a little feature in your garden. Exactly, that yeah. is so yeah. cute. Throw them I love in the that. Of the Great project, Leanne. Thank you. Thanks.